welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I've got a really exciting little parcel to show you. Something a tiny little bit different to what I usually do. Like, the majority of the time on this channel, I usually do, like, fashion videos. But today, we've got a different style of video. We've actually got a little bit of a homeware haul. This is a Sassen Bell haul, which, as you can tell, pretty big one. This box was so heavy when I picked it up. It is empty now, like, I'm not going to lie. I have taken everything out, and it's all on the floor. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Sassen Bell. It's one of my favourite brands ever ever for homeware. I've got loads of little bits. I used to get stuff on like Miss Garden and stuff from Sass and Bell and they actually had the cutest little shop when I was in London and I actually got a bag from there. Um, it was just like a little beachy style bag. I think it's more used for like if you want to put fruit and veg in like one of those style of bags. So I'm gonna get into the video. I've got loads of little homey bits. I'm so excited to show you all this. All this stuff has kind of been gifted by Sass and Bell but it's actually for a uh, Instagram ad like it's nothing to do with YouTube so I'm going to show you everything tell you my opinions tell you what it looked like when it came because I ordered all this stuff online and I didn't see it before it's different with clothes because you get to see it on a model whereas this like you order it online you don't always know how big it's going to be I know you can read the sizes and stuff but I don't really do that like I just order it and hope for the best so I'll give you like a proper rundown of everything and yeah let's just get straight into the video I really do hope that you do enjoy this one if you do please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any others and let's just get straight into it I'm going to start off with the cutest little trinket dish this is the most colourful thing out of the whole order I think but I just died when I saw this I was like I need it I like my house to have like when I first moved in I did have the intention that it was going to be quite neutral and then I got like the lego flowers and then there's like the books everywhere and then we've got like a sh bookshelf and the idea of the bookshelf is to have like loads of little memories on it and stuff and it's ended up just being quite a colourful house like it's not very neutral and it's not very like I was going to keep it minimal and it's just not minimal at all like it's gone from one extreme to the other and it, there's just colour everywhere now but I like it I like having little pops of colour now and when I saw this I was like oh my god God, that is the cutest little thing. So, right, so this is the dish that it comes in. So it's got red, blue, bit of green, bit of yellow, like the primary colours. And then inside, it's obviously just like a trinket dish. You can put whatever you want in there. It's not huge, it's not massive, as you can tell, like compared to my head, like it's not huge. And then it comes with the cutest little lid ever. Oh my God, look at that. Stop it. It's just so cute. I just saw it, I was like, I have no idea what I'm going to put in that. It doesn't matter. I'll find something to go in there because it's just the best. It's adorable. I love it. I love the size of it. I think it's not too, like, too big where it's like, oh, where am I going to fit that? But it just is going to fit somewhere perfectly. I think I might put it on the bookshelf and maybe put something in it because there's stuff everywhere on the bookshelf. You know, when it's starting to get a little bit more crowded, I think it would be kind of cute where if it's got something in it that people can look in and be like, oh, what's that? And then get it all out, you know? So I'm going to have a look around at the minute. It is just sat in front of the TV on like the, um, what's it called, like a t like on the TV stand, the big TV stand, it's just on there for now, but I am gonna find like a proper place for it and probably put it on the bookshelf somewhere. I think it looks really cute with like, even on there with like the Lego flowers and stuff. Ah. Do you know what I mean? Like it just adds a little bit extra. I'm just gonna leave it on there for now, but I am actually gonna find a spot for it. It's the perfect size, it's exactly how I wanted it. Oh, when it came up, it was absolutely buzzing. So yeah, that is the most colorful thing out of the full order everything else is quite well it's quite neutral but not not completely i got a bit carried away when i did this order just like the cutest things you've ever seen in your life so this was definitely definitely not a need like we did not need this like we did not need it at all but i just died when i saw it on the website look at this oh my and you're probably thinking why have you just got two little mushrooms they're salt and pepper shakers oh my god they're the cutest things i've ever seen in my life so when I went to Barcelona, I basically bought a salt and pepper like mini shaker for Josh, like from the Pack Well in Barcelona. Well, it was like a little shop outside of it. So we've got them two mini ones, and then we've got two electrical ones that we use like when we're cooking and stuff. So we definitely didn't need any more. But I'm gonna find a spot for them. I don't know where they're gonna go yet, but I love them so much that I literally could not not get them because look at them. They're just beautiful. I think they're the perfect little size. They're so cute. I'm assuming you put it in. Yeah, you just put the salt and the pepper underneath. They're like the perfect neutral colour, but they're just still quite like eccentric, quite out there. I've never seen anything like this before. Like for a salt and pepper shaker, usually they're just like plain, aren't they? But I just thought these were adorable. In some people's houses, even if you've got quite a neutral aesthetic, but you just want something that's a little bit different, this still keeps that, but it's just really, really cute at the same time. Like if I walked in somebody else's house and they had these, I'd be like, oh my God 
give me them and now I have them so I'm so happy next up I'm gonna move on to a few of the like bigger things out of the order because I'm not gonna lie this order's not huge there's only like eight things here because we just didn't need that much stuff like realistically there's no need to get more than what somebody needs like even a couple of things here I didn't need it it was definitely a want like I just saw it and thought I'm gonna have to get it but I did want to stock up on a couple of new cushions because some of the ones that we've got, like we've got some from years ago when we first moved into uni and we've got some from like, we bought like really cheap ones from Ikea and they're just losing their shape, they're not the best quality, they're just, they're not doing it anymore, like I really needed to get a few more and just always says to me like, we have too many cushions as it is and it is true, like we do have quite a lot but I just don't really feel like you can never have enough and like I said, I wanted to get some that were a bit more expensive, a bit better quality, gonna last a little bit longer, so I got two from Sass and Bell. This is the first one. How beautiful is this? So I wanted something with a little bit of colour but not too much, which is why I've gone for like the denim style theme. So it's obviously just like a beigey colour. I love this detailing. Really like minimal colours here. But then it's got like this zigzag denim. I'll show you it because it's like different tones of blue. Which I just think is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And then even at the top it's still got like different patterns going all the way down but they sort of just like it's not too much some patterns are just like really in your face and all over the place and it's just too much i think this is perfect i think it's beautiful i love the colors i think it's very neutral gonna go in most people's houses but still got that added little bit of color and then i saw that one and thought instead of getting two of the same one i'm gonna get two slightly different ones so i also picked up this one which obviously has a little bit more of the denim blue color to it so if you did want to stick to more neutrals, then maybe go for two of them ones because it still adds that little bit of colour, but not as much as this one. But I absolutely love this one as well. So this has got all the different shades of blue again. This is the same as the last one. So is this bit. Like, they obviously come as, like, a set, like the same collection. And then it's just got different shades of blue going down it. It's a bit more... This one's giving me more, like, a bit ruggedy vibes. Like, some bits are, like, raw like raw hemming like here i just thought they were beautiful i really love like pillows and cushions i don't really know why like i want to buy them all the time it gets to a point in the house where you're like this is getting ridiculous i'm having to take 10 pillows off just to get in my bed i got these two and i'm going to use these to replace some of the other ones in the house that are just they've had their time they need to go the last piece to go in that little mini collection i actually bought a little rug this I don't know where it's gonna go yet i'm thinking maybe at the end of the bed because in this apartment which i absolutely love is so much better than the last one we actually have all this space here between the wardrobe and the bed and when it's all clear on the floor there is a lot of room to work with so i thought at the foot of the bed maybe this would just be nice to like add a little bit more like bring the room together a little bit more so i got this rug it's not ginormous which i absolutely love like i said again I didn't really look at the measurements before I ordered it. I thought I'd just get it and like hope for the best. And this came and it's the perfect size. I didn't want it any bigger, but it's not too small where it's like, oh, I don't know where that's going to go. It's tiny. It's the perfect size. So once again, it's got this like denim -y, different colored denim going all the way through it. But it's also got like rosy gold colors going through it, which I think is really, really nice. It's different to the pillows because the pillows don't have any of this at all. But this doesn't have any of like the neutral colors. It is definitely more blue. So I just think having like a little bit of a lighter color, having a little bit of that rose gold coming through sort of just brings it all together and look like a collection and a set if you know what i mean the only bits that are like creamy nude are on the edge these little tassels which i really love i love the added detail i just think it's beautiful it's a gorgeous rug it was quite affordable i will leave the links to everything down below because i can't remember exactly how much it was but i remember thinking like is that going to be really small for a rug because the price was really good and it came and it was like the perfect size. So I was really happy with this. I think it's beautiful. The quality is amazing. They add different sets as well. So like if this one isn't for you. They add multiple sets where it comes with like pillows and different size rugs. They had bigger ones as well I think. And then they had smaller ones. I'm pretty sure I went for the middle size. Because I didn't want it to be too big or too small. And yeah it's the perfect size. So if you did want this rug. But like that's still going to be too small. They did have different sizes. On to the last couple of little bits now. So I have from... Primark it's like a vase and it's just white with it's like a candlestick holder but it looks like a vase and I absolutely love it and then when I went on the Sass and Bell website I saw that they had this which is the exact same shape as the candle holder one but like double the size 
it's absolutely beautiful it's very like heavy like it's got weight to it it's very well made i love this like paint splatter detail i think it's beautiful it's like a nudie it's got like a tiny little bit of a pink tint to it but it's definitely like a nudie beige and then black and white splotches all over it which i thought was really nice it's very neutral still but it's not plain like it's not in your face whoa these colors everywhere don't get me wrong i love it sometimes when something is just like plain and simple but i wanted to get a few bits that had something to them and i thought that this was perfect for that i just love the style of it i absolutely love it i fell in love with the primark one and the primark one's like half the size of this one this one's a lot thicker a lot bigger and it looks really nice together like i've put it behind it and they just sit together and I think it's really beautiful, so I absolutely love this as well. This order came and I was just so, so happy with everything. And then the last two pieces that I got, I actually got some mugs, which I don't use mugs too often. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a hot drink person. I would much rather have like a nice coffee or just like a Coke or anything else. Like I don't really like hot drinks, but I just saw these mugs. People that come around with a hot drink... And I used to have like the clear ones from Ikea. Well, I still do. I still have them. But I just thought I'd get some that were more... I don't know. They seem a bit more cosy to me than like a clear mug. So I got these ones. I thought I'd get two different colours because I just fell in love with both of them. I thought I need to get one of each. I love the fact that it's like two different materials. I don't know if you can tell. But the mug here is like... I, I don't really know my mug terminology. Like, I don't really know what I'm talking about. But oh, this is like your classic mug and then at the bottom it goes like sandy like a sandy material which is really like it's a bit weird so then it makes me cringe a bit i'm not gonna lie like if i touch it for too long i'm like oh don't know if i love that but obviously when you're holding it you don't feel that anyway but i love like these two turned different textures to it i just think it's really really cool you can tell that like a lot of thought and effort's been put into the design of it and i just think they're absolutely beautiful i went into fred aldo's is fred aldo's fred aldo's in Manchester the other day and they stock Sassenbell and they have these as like little sprays. Where is that? Oh my god, I've got one more thing to show you that I've completely forgotten about until just now. I've got like a little plant sprayer that I need to show you. I need to go get that. I'll have to go find that in a sec. But yeah, they had them in like these colours in the exact same style and they were just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, whilst I remember, I'm going to go get that. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I'm so glad that I didn't forget to show you this like i'm so glad like just read up my memory then how adorable is this i can't believe it. it's because i had it like next to my plant so i completely forgot to grab it before i did the video but i got this plant and i just thought it was beautiful i love this as well like the because right i'm not gonna lie i always forget to water my plants i'm really really bad at it and we have a lot of like oh my god what cactus is called why can't i remember there's a name for it where you don't have to water them very much i can't remember anyway so our plants don't need watering that often like the majority of them are fine you can leave them they're like quite dry plants like they want to be dry so this mist set is perfect to just give them a little bit of a one server so they don't like die and i just think it's absolutely beautiful i love this makes me really excited to like spray my plants i'm really excited to use this and i just thought this was beautiful once again very neutral but then got that added little bit of detail and also this is like two textured again this is like that sandy sort of material, which is just gorgeous. I really love this. I think it's beautiful. I think I remember this being like £15, which for a sprayer is like a lot. Like you can get cheaper ones, but I just thought the design was beautiful. And I actually want this one to sit out and have it as like a decoration rather than just being a plant, like a sprayer, which obviously I'm going to use it for that as well. But this one can sit on a side, whereas other ones that I've had in the past just aren't very nice so i just keep them in a cupboard somewhere and then that's when i forget so this is perfect because i've been using this and i've not forgot to spray my plants yet so yeah i love this i'm so glad that i remembered to show you it as well because this is definitely like one of my favorite things out of the full order but yeah that is absolutely everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it it was a little bit different but i love my home and like i love doing it up i love buying things for it and i just don't i don't think i show that enough like i try not to do it too much because it got to a point where i was doing it way too much and then it was becoming a bit overcrowded but i really do love it and i think i'm gonna start if i get new little bits i'm just gonna like incorporate it into videos and show you new little bits that i've got because i really do love homeware so yeah let me know if you did enjoy this video and if you want to see more hauls like this because i'll definitely do that 
But I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.